right, we're back at the puppy patch. Did a bunch of lazy, lazy dogs today. And we're shipping orders. So let's do some solds. This is all Friday. This is Friday sales. I crouched down because I wanted to get comfortable, but I actually have a chair right behind me. All right, so here's what's sold. Um, pencil sharpener. I started to bag it, and then I thought I thought about you guys. <laughs> so, pencil sharpener. Um, I think I paid like. Uh, I got that at I got that at Dane's house. Here's here's what's sold. It's the eBay reseller's home. This is a a mix bag lot of like carpentry slash machinist tools so uh, this is mainly pencils and rulers and um, files and stuff like that just all this sort of random random little random little tools and a little notebook bits bobs uh, chucks little wrenches uh, and then back there that's within this lot that is some of these uh, caliper gauges or um, micrometer micrometer gauges so that's that lot right there been sitting on that one for a little while um, I got this the other day at the estate sale um, the one with the speakers I didn't do the haul video yet for that. I haven't recorded it. I just haven't uploaded it. But yeah, that sold. So um, very nice harmonica there. I'll uh, pull that out for you at the end. Um, this gauge mic micrometer sold. That's right there. Uh, this is a dial indicator. For machinist and that goes on that goes connected to some of the stands I'm selling the indicator stands so anytime you see an indicator stand being sold um, this is what kind of goes with it this is gonna have to be All right. a star it catalog of tools gives you like a basic run around of each tool what it cost its function it's actually a really good book if if you want to get into this kind of stuff if you want to get into this kind of stuff uh, you should probably get one of these books I sold this for like 10 or 12 dollars something like that but just has all the pictures it'll give you all the model numbers like these are the V blocks there's a magnetic V block that's probably expensive that's probably a hundred dollars maybe more um, V blocks Let's see what else tap and die And these little you get a set of these pin vices it's like 50 bucks uh, even like these screwdrivers that's maybe like 30 40 bucks punch sets those are all good 30 32 you know 80 a really good one maybe 100 he's got his marked his here that he has this one worth 50 or that's probably what he paid um, but yeah just different tools gauges gags all that stuff so. sold that gives you kind of like the pictures of you know what it all looks like and yeah, that that's good for like 
flea market hunting, you know? Because that stuff's out there too at the flea market. Cheap, cheap. Some clean out guys just don't know everything. Maybe a clean out guy just only knows electronics and DVDs and stuff like that. And he don't care about the tools and he just fires his tools off. There's different there's different parameters to each clean out guy and each guy or girl um, only knows what they know. So, um, yeah, just keep that in mind. Flea markets are always the best place to find random stuff like this for, you know, a dollar or two. Um, so, I mean, if, if I put in like a dollar or two, and maybe I paid 50 bucks at the end with, for all that, let's just say. I mean, I made double double my money, so that's, that's not bad. Um, I bought that like when acquired lots, so that's, I don't know. I didn't pay probably more than 10 or 20 dollars for all that, so. Maybe even less. Um, and we got this icon. Um, for parts, it's tested. I put my testing, I put what I did for my testing, and then I, it's as parts, that's it. So, um, stuff will usually sell like that for me. It, it, it'll it de deplete the price maybe by like 10%. Not much. I can really close, get close to the same amount as somebody else that was selling it close to new. I mean, I just keep my price just a little bit lower and just do a really thorough test of the best of my ability. And that's all you can really do. Uh, so, sold. And uh, yeah, silence. Silence. Say bye, puppy. <laughs> Alright, here's that Horner Comet harmonica. It's made in... Made in Germany. Nice double... Double curve, harp, good condition, no, no broken reeds. Yeah, nice one, very nice. Hope whoever gets it enjoys it. All right, and that's all I got. Get some sales done for Saturday. Hope you all sales are doing good. All right, come back, try to get through some more uh, solds and other box lots. Peace.